What's going on YouTube? Welcome to Wesley's Angling. Today we're at Medlock Valley Fishery. Uh, this is a fishery near Manchester city centre. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anybody else fishing today, though it does only open at eight o'clock. Uh, they've put the prices up, like I think everywhere has. So it's eight pound for one rod and 10 pound for two rods. Um, I have fished here before a couple of times. It's only about four miles from my house actually. So I'll show you some shots of the fishery and we'll get fishing. Um, I've just spoken to the owner, he looks like he's going around cleaning up a little bit. He said it was really busy yesterday with it being bank holiday. Uh, but yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, a few hours fishing. We'll probably pack up about 12 o'clock. So we'll only do about half a day, but we'll see what we catch here. Right guys, so I've just, I've just finished talking to the owner. Um, it took me ages to get rid of him. I'm pretty much set up there. <laughs> um, there's some fish topping. He said uh, there was loads of fish coming out yesterday. Uh, last time I fished this lake was about two and a half years ago before COVID and lockdown. And he was quite shocked that I remembered where to fish, but um, as a bit of a pointer, if you come and fish here, the corner, I'm on the opposite side to the car park and the corners, of these wooden platforms do really well for carp or they did last time i was here anyway so hopefully we get a few from there like i say there's some decent fish in here i think um they've got some lily pads and they've got these two big islands and i think the, the fish will just patrol around these so that's where we're going to be fishing i'm, I'm set up here uh got me uh, the rod rests on and the feeder arms and I've got my rods together, so we're pretty much set up. I just need to get some hook links on. I'm going to be fishing fairly heavy, probably nine pound hook links. Because um, like I said, there's some uh, crumpers in here. So we need to be uh, geared up to be able to deal with them if we get one on the hook. But there we go. I was fishing yesterday, uh, doing a fishery review at Wrightington. So if you haven't seen that, I'll put the uh, link to it in the top right hand corner. But yeah, can't believe this. It's so close to Manchester city centre as well. I'm the only person fishing it today. Now, I don't know whether that's a good sign or a bad sign. Um, and there's not much fish activity. There's there's not really any bubbles coming up or topping. There's some splashing about. I've seen a, I've seen a couple of carp show. Um, actually, where I'm fishing, nowhere else on the lake. So uh, hopefully I'm in the right spot. So I'm going to get a couple of hook links on and uh, we'll get these feeders out. I need to mix some ground bait as well. I've just got a 50-50 mix of uh, pellets and ground bait, two mils and some F1 sweet ground bait. Okie doke, so pellet and ground bait mix. So that's the ground bait, F1 sweet. And then I've got some F1 sticky pellets here. Got my wafters in my method mold. Probably fishing with 8 mil washed out wafters today. If you're following the channel, you know that they're my favourite. So let's do half of that ground bait. Touch more, there we go. And then the rest of these pellets. <sighs> Mix them together. Usually, what I do is I. Uh, I mix the pellets separately to the ground bait and I'd add them in, but can't be bothered today. We're just going to chuck a load of water in. Don't be scared about over wetting it when you're fishing with pellets because those pellets will really absorb all that water up. So I'm just going to, I don't know what that is. Ugh. I'm going to let this sit. I'm going to let this sit while we. Uh, Put our hook lamps and wafters on and that should be perfect by the time that we come around to fishing. It's very clear water here. It's right next to a river or a stream as well. I can hear the stream. So there must be a stream just behind us. We might go and have a look at that in a bit. 
All right, hook links. So let's go with size 12s. That one. Let's try that one as well. Oh, band's come off of that. That's no good, is it? I'm starting to use another type of feeder hook. Got to branch out and try different things, haven't you? So I usually use these, which are kind of, you, you won't be able to see it in a GoPro, but it's a wider gape. Um, I just put a little bit of rig tube in or rig rubber on the shank of the hook just to hold the band to the hook. I've done the same on this one, but like I say, it's a different type of hook. Um, it's not as wide a gape, so we'll see how we get on with them. And there's our wafters. Like I say, I'm only doing a few hours today, so it's not going to be a mega long video, I don't think. But we'll try and get some good content for you. And hopefully catch some fish. Won't be a very interesting fishery review video if we don't catch out, will it? So, with with my method feeder set up, I've just got a size 10 quick change swivel there. I've started using these rather than the elasticated. And I've just put a little bit of rig rubber. And what I do is when I've put a hook link on, I'll just push this little bit of rig tube in or rig rubber over the the hook of the quick change swivel and then push that back into the method feeder and that's perfect that comes out on the take so you know that a fish isn't going to be uh, pulling a feeder around if you get snapped and we're going to use eight mils so that is that rod good to go drag set right so i'll just put that back here for now and we'll do the other one I'll put a link in the description as always of all the gear and baits that I'm using today. Uh, rods are Shimano Speedmasters and then I've got, just got two Daiwa reels. I think they're Ninja or Crossfire. I think they were the special editions when they came out. But they're serving me very well so far. I'm um, using £10 mainline and £9 hook links. I don't really fish anything lighter than that these days definitely give you the best chance of landing a fish and you know you're not going to get broken as well or not as often as you would on lighter tackle there's nothing worse than getting broken and uh, the heavier line doesn't put the fish off especially when you're fishing the method feeder as long as you've got a nice supple hook link like these you're fine right i think we're just about set up that ground bait should be pretty much perfect so there's my method mould, I'm not going to put it through a riddle. There we go, yeah that's about right that. Let's break it all up. Doesn't matter if there's some bigger pieces in there. Let's see how this is on the feeder. Might need a touch more water. No, oh, that's perfect that. Now. What we want to do is we want to be getting it to the corner of that island if we can. Let's line it up. And I think as close to that as we can get it, it'll probably be our best bet. Oh my gosh, that was a good cast. So we'll sink our line. And then we just put our maybe feet around, show around a little bit. Just so we can get a good indication on the rod tip. You need to make sure that your setup's perfect. There we go. I'm going to see your indications there. That's brilliant. And then my other rod, I'm going to try and put it just to the right hand side of this island here. So on both corners. That's where we're going to start. There are some lily pads down here to the side as well, if we wanted to try the margins, but it looks really shallow. I can't see that doing really well, to be honest with you. Right, I can see the bottom there, so it can't be that deep at all. So we'll try there. That's where I caught last time. I don't really know the lake mega well, but the owner agreed with me that the fish stick to these uh, wooden platforms. Yeah, so fingers crossed. Let's get this other rod out. So we're fishing there. It's currently 20 to 9. 
Um, this place only opens at 8 o'clock, so you don't have to get up mega early to come here. Got the old West is Angling hoodie on. <laughs> the West is Angling merch. Living the Sorry, dream. Could oh. you say that again? Sorry, sir. Waking Siri up. Alright, let's uh, get this other rod out and then we can make a brew, can't we? Right, we've got both rods out. I've not had any indications on the tip yet. They've been in about five minutes. I cast this right hand rod a little bit short, to be quite honest with you. So I've cast it probably maybe six foot off the island there. So I need to be a little bit tighter. I think the tighter I can get to that island, the, uh, the less wary the fish are gonna be. Parakeets. Loads of parakeets around Manchester now. See them everywhere. So that's the setup. As you can see, it looks perfect. Tips aren't going to be interfering with each other. I've got everything around me that I need. Rods are secured in case we get a violent take with those Preston Innovation grips. Not affiliated in any way with any of the products. I'm just showing you what I use. It's really still, really quiet. Lovely fishery, looks really well maintained, but there's not as much fish activity as I'd like to see in a fishery. Little bubbles, swirls, that kind of thing. But then again, it is more of a carp fishery, so you're not gonna get small fish swirling, you know, bream bubbling, that kind of thing. If you're local to Manchester or you live in Manchester city centre, what an ideal place to come. It'll probably only take you 15 minutes from Manchester city centre to get here. So it really is ideal. Like I say, it's only four miles from my house. Bit of a swell on the surface there. Bit closer in. I might, I might throw a couple of balls of ground bait in. Ground bait and pellets close to those islands if I can get them out that far. It'll just start the swim off and uh, hopefully start drawing fish into the pegs. So I'm going to do that now. I must admit. £10 for two rods is steep for this fishery. So I will definitely reflect that in the review at the end. £10 for two rods, it's only a small little fishery as well. Like I said, me and my dad went to Wrightington yesterday and that's only £8 for two rods. Must be Manchester prices. <laughs> you definitely pay more for a beer in Manchester, so. I suppose it only makes sense that you pay more for your fishing. <laughs> Let's put a bit more water in this. Well, wobbling my platform all over the place like I'm doing. I definitely mixed too much ground bait and pellets for a morning session there, but I am going fishing tomorrow, so I can use it then. Right, let's ball a couple up and see if I can get it by that island. That's a great throw, that. One more, a bit smaller. Awesome, that'll be perfect. You can still see the plumes from that going through the water. I wonder if it's really shallow there. Hmm, that's interesting. Always got to be thinking about these things when you're fishing. Let's put that on this side of us so we can access it. And that'll dry out a little bit. We'll have a brew and give it a couple of minutes. But, cast after that especially this right hand rod I don't know whether it's a clip up or not it's 
a little bit risky clipping up on a cart water. If you hook something decent, you've got to be able to get it out of the clip. I don't know whether this uh, old fella stays around all day or not. Is he just waiting for people to come? I wonder if he stays in that little shack all day. God, he, they can't make much money like that. If you do enjoy these fishery reviews, um, feel free to drop a comment down below. Um, if you've got somewhere that you want me to try that's uh, in the Wigan, Manchester sort of area in the northwest, I'd be more than happy to go and do a day session there. Hang on, I said a little bit of a tweak on that right on rod then. There's an aerator there, it wasn't running this morning. There's no toilet facilities here. Like I said, the place does look well maintained. It's a hell of a lot better maintained than it was a couple of years ago when I came. All this was dirt paths, it was muddy and slutchy, but it looks like they've done a little bit of work to it. Maybe that's due to the, maybe that's why they put the prices up, but it's all gravel paths now, which is awesome. So you could think, you could obviously take your barrow around if you needed to. I'm sure they weren't wooden pegs like this either the last time I came, so they might have done a bit of work to it. Nothing yet, but it can take a little bit of time for the swim to build up. In about 15 minutes, I am going to recast this right hand rod. I'll leave that left hand rod in a little bit longer. Sometimes it's just nice to get outside. Hopefully you can pick up a few tips along the way anyway. That's the only problem with doing these fishery review videos. Obviously, I don't. If you don't fish a fishery often, then it's very difficult to know where to actually fish. You don't know how it's been fishing or anything. So, and obviously, I've got to give it a score based on one day's fishing, and it's it's fairly difficult because you know it could do well some days and not so well other days, just like any any fishery can. So. Let's have a see. Let's see if I can get this a bit close to the island. There's more of an angle on it as well, so I get a bit of a better indication on the tip. So, obviously, when it's a carp taken, like I said, there's mostly carp in here. I don't know. I don't think there's any other species in. To be honest with you, I've never caught anything else but carp. But they'll go right round the rod tips. You know, you won't be wondering whether you've got a bite or anything. You don't really get many little knocks on the on the feeder. Might take it uh, an hour or so to warm up the swim. I'll put the address for Medlock Valley in the description for you so you know where it is, like I always do. Some stunking carp topping on this left hand side. Why aren't they in my peg? Look at that! Did you see that on the camera? That was a low double. Well, at least you've seen a fish, because I don't think we're going to catch one. <laughs> right, I am going to recast this left hand rod now. When you tie in your method feeder hook links, make sure that they're no more than three or four inches long. That's so important when you're fishing the method feeder. That you have a nice short hook link. All, it all helps with the self hooking aspect. You want a nice heavy feeder as well, even if they're small like these. These are 40 grams. So I prefer much heavier feeders. I would never use like a 20 gram feeder or anything like that because I just don't think you get as good a hook up. So let's get this back to the island. That's spot on. Now I've baited up and had a couple of casts. I'm going to leave these in a little bit longer. Probably 20, 30 minutes now. And we'll just be patient and we'll wait for a fish. Well, quick update. I've had absolutely nothing. <laughs> um, just had a little bit of a tweak on this left hand rod. Uh, what time are we on? About quarter past nine. It's very still calm. Very, very, very still. It's in a couple of um, 
I've seen a couple of cartel walk in, but there's no bubbles coming up, no feeding activity. So it's a little bit worrying. You said there was loads of fish coming out yesterday, but you don't know what to believe. He's, uh, he's here to get the £10 at the end of the day, isn't he? So uh, he's going to say what he, what he says. And if he uh, if nobody catches, then that's well, fishing, isn't it? You know. <laughs> but I had a good few last time I came, so I know that there are fishing. And like I say, if you look at the uh, the reviews on Google for this place, it gets absolutely superb reviews, which is what you want to look for. He's talking to the geese now. Um, <laughs> He's over there talking to the geese. <laughs> oh dear. There he is. In his high biz. Come on, we need a fish. I can't, I can't blank, can I? I can't blank on a fisher review video. Look like a right Wally. I want to upload it out of shame. There's nothing better than this, guys, is there? Being outdoors, there's a kingfisher just flown past. So peaceful. I'm going to give it an extra point, this fishery, just for how peaceful it is. It's lovely. You've got the sound of the stream behind us. It's very quiet. You've not got any noisy motorways or anything like that that you get with some fisheries. Wagons driving past and stuff like that. And it's right on my doorstep as well. So the next cast, what I'll probably do is I'll probably work closer towards me. That's the only thing I can do. I'll move every cast that I do, I'll come forward, you know, a few feet until we're on the fish. I could try in the open water. There's nobody fishing next to me, so no problem casting across swim. So nobody here. So I might try open water. I might try down the lily pads down this side. So I've got a few options yet. It's got them geese all hyped up. But even if I don't catch on these um, fishery reviews, I will still upload it. You'll get a chance to see the fishery and uh, maybe pick up a couple of tips as well. But I like to think I know what I'm doing when it comes to fishing, just about. So, you know, I'll, uh, I'll always try and get a few while I'm here. And you can enjoy the day's fishing. And if we don't catch, we don't catch. That's just the way it goes with fishing. I want it to be real and honest. I'm gonna try open water. Let's mix it up a bit. Let's adapt and overcome. There's a carp just under the surface right here. Oh, two, that's a big one. Look at the size of that. Oh, wow. There's two together there. So are they just cruising around? It's not that warm. It's not even a bright day. So they must be up in the water. That chaps. Careful you don't go through my line, please. I haven't got any sandwiches if that's what you want. Through another one as well, probably. Well, we're in. It absolutely shot off that. Clutch is alright. Just having a brew as well. It's like a common. It's probably why it went mental. That was over towards the aerator, that one. We've done it. <laughs> we have saved the blank. Oh, let's have a look at it. See what condition the fish are here. Let's put my rod down. That's a nice fish, that actually. 
an F1. Look at that, a really fat one. Nice fish that. Put it back. Hope that shows you that uh, persistence pays off. So that one was over by the aerator. It's quite a bit of a cast, but we'll try and get it back there. That's awesome. Well, at least we've caught. I wasn't expecting it. Nearly ripped it off the rest. Well, that's first fishing and we're a little over two hours into the fishing. So one fish in two hours isn't bad, is it? <laughs> uh, got the rods back out, roughly the same spot. Uh, it started drizzling with rain now. Not sure if you can see that on the GoPro, but we've got another probably two hours fishing left before I need to pack up. Got some jobs that I need to do later today, so I'll crack on with them. Oh, a bit of a tweak on the left hand rod. Who knows, maybe this fish moved into the swim. I'm, ho I'm hopeful. Uh, not even brought a broly with me. It didn't give rain on the weather forecast, but it is what it is. Right, I'll click you back on when we get another fish, if we get another fish. I mean again guys, I must be on the fish now. Again over to that aerator. Doesn't feel a big one this. <laughs> Tiny little carp. I'm gonna skim it over this other line, hopefully it doesn't come off. There we go. Absolutely tiny this one. Look at this. <laughs> Belongs in a fish tank, this one, I think. <laughs> right. I'll see you later. I'll get a bit bigger and come back. Make sure I'm not wrapped around my tip. It's running towards me. This feels like a slightly better fish. Turn the drag down a little bit. Seems like the fish are more in open water. God, it's running from weeds. That's a better carp. So I can land it without knocking my brew over. It's going to have my lily pads. A bit of side strain. Branch got lucky there. Oh, that's a nice carp. Oh, yeah, that's definitely not far off eight pound. I got my wafter back as well. That waste not, want not. And, um that quick change swivel's done its job and come out of the method feeder on the take. Makes it very difficult for the fish to unhook itself. Well, that's a lovely fish, actually. OK, 
keep an eye on the other rod. Look at that. Heavy fish, deep bodied. I'd say that's probably seven pound, eight pound max. Well, chuffed with that. God, it's so shallow there. Oh, yeah. For one, when they come out on the take, the fish can't unhook itself against the weight of the feeder. Can't throw the hook, which is good. And obviously if the fish got snagged up, you know that it's not gonna be trailing around a method feeder. But that's perfect, but you get enough of a bolt effect that you're still gonna get a good hook up Now let's get that back out. So that was in the deeper water as well. Well, that's both rods recast back out. So if I had to give Medlock Valley a, a rating out of 10, like I do in all my fishery review videos, um, I'm gonna score it a very average five out of 10. Um, might seem a little bit harsh, but just comparing it to other fisheries, there's no toilet facilities. The fishing's not full on, like it is at a lot of places that I fish, like Wrightington, like High Haze. Um, there are better fisheries out there, so we'll give it a very average five. But the things that are holding it up is obviously I've caught, which is the main thing, but the setting's beautiful. And a fishery so close to Manchester city centre, that's amazing. So if you live in a city, it might be hard for you to get out uh, to these kind of fisheries, but I'm sure that you'd be able to get here via a taxi or public transport with no, uh, or with very little trouble. So that's what's holding the score up. Let's see if we can get a couple more before we pack up. We've probably got about an hour's fishing left. That's a little stream running behind the fishery. I don't think there'll be any fish in there, but... Lovely. Well guys, I've just got packed up. So we've had four or five of them small carp, and then we had that half decent one as well. So the fishing's not been terrible. The price is definitely fairly steep for the, uh, the type of fishing that you get here in the facilities. But it is a nice place, so I do recommend you come and have a fish if you uh, are local. Uh, you might have a better day than what I've had, who knows? That's fishing at the end of the day, it's very hard to predict. Um, but I'll probably stick with my five out of 10 rating. And we'll see you in the next West's Angling. Thanks for watching.